one of the things I realized very early in life when I was looking at non-profit organizations is you can actually divide them into three categories. Category one, organizations that know how to brand themselves extremely well. Category two, organizations that may not have branded themselves very well but are at least able to tell stories extremely well. And category three is organizations that also do phenomenal work but they don't have they don't have the skills to tell their stories really well to people so you have this huge base of amazingly committed people all over india doing phenomenal work day in day out whether you go to the villages of bihar or you go to the slums of mumbai delhi or uh, calcutta and you find that these people are doing phenomenal work but they just don't know how to go about telling their stories to people it requires an Amir Khan to bring their stories out in public domain and get them some visibility in the odd case. So, the, so on the one hand, there was this concern about what do we do with these people who are doing great work on that one side. On the other hand, if you reach out to the common man today in India, you'll find that most people say, I wish I could do something, but I don't know who I can trust. I don't know if my money will go to the right place if I you know, gave it to this organization or that organization, or which is the organization I should uh, work with. So the idea of Give India was born very simply. Can we build a bridge that connects these two set of people? People who want to give, who want to try and make a difference, along with those who are doing phenomenal work, but don't know how to reach out to these people. And thus Give India was born in 2000. 